no coop, no bedding, no coop cleaning chores. More ventilation, healthier birds, happier birds. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? In the height of the avian flu of 2022, I decided to quarantine my birds in a pasture because they had stream access and this would help to mitigate the interactions they had with germs from wild birds. Well, it ended up being a lesson in disguise. The flock absolutely loved living in this one acre pasture and I still rotate my horses through, I rotate my sheep through, but this is sort of their main living space. And I have built a shelter. They have a three-sided shelter as you can see there. And this is the guinea tractor we use as needed out into the yard space. But what ended up happening is they started to nest by night in the tall grasses and the weeds in the back corners of the pasture. And that's where their nests are. So it's easy to find the eggs, but I'm no longer buying bedding, putting down bedding, then cleaning it out, then composting it. Instead, what's happening is they're living like ducks do in the wild. By day, now that our avian, thru, th avian flu threat has been reduced, they absolutely, absolutely forage by day all around the farm property. They go in the stream. So they're in here by night. And how are they protected with the onslaught of predators we have? Trust me, here in central New Jersey, we have a high predator load. Bear, bobcats, mountain lions, coyote, fox, fisher cats. Oh, the list goes on. We use livestock guardian dogs. Axlu, my Anatolian shepherd, is a livestock guardian dog that's assigned to the flock. And he's out there with them every single night, all night, and most often during the day as well when they're kept inside in inclement weather. Haven't lost one since. New Jersey in the mid-Atlantic is considered to be a wet climate. And so even though we've had our fair share of droughts lately in recent years, we get a lot of rainfall. That means we have a lot of pests and critters and insects that thrive in that sort of ecosystem. So we've got snails and slugs. And those are why I have the ducks. It's because they help me to keep those pests under control in my growing spaces. But it also means that they are happy and healthy to, th to thrive outdoors. Hey, you gonna be in my video? They're happy and healthy to thrive outdoors. And so because they're in their native habitat, especially Cayuga ducks, which are native to the New York region, they're really hardy, they do well here. They're so much happier and healthier because they're outside doing what ducks are meant to do. And it's less work for me, especially when it comes to my most hated farm chore, which is mucking out the duck coop. It's disgusting. As the birds forage and graze, they leave manure. Their droppings are fertilizer, which enrich the soil as they go. Their feathers are used by wildlife in their nests. And the geese help to eat down the weeds throughout the pastures. The sheep and the horses don't graze on. Am I telling you to get rid of your coop for your chickens, ducks, geese, or other birds that you might have? Absolutely not. Do what works for you. But in permaculture, the whole point is mimicking patterns that already exist in nature for the benefit of the soil, the benefit of the animals, and just to create a healthier ecosystem. This is absolutely one way we can do that here at Axe Root Homestead.